What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. So today we're gonna wrap the Model X trunk in one piece. I'm not gonna seam this baby. It's gonna go all down in one piece. A lot of people would run a seam here and you can if you really want to. Uh, we are doing this in satin pearl white. So satin pearl white doesn't really hide seams very well. So doing seams kind of looks pretty terrible in my opinion at least. So there's a couple of problems with this. One being the spoiler, I'm not able to remove it. I tried, it was a pain in the butt. Couldn't get to the screws. I have honestly no idea where they are. They look like they're blocked by something that's plastic. I removed the aligner and everything on the inside. I just couldn't figure it out. So after a certain amount of time, like I think I spent 45 minutes to an hour doing this. Um, after an hour, I'm just like, forget it. You know what? I'm not gonna take it off. We're gonna work around it. To work around it, we are going to mask off most of this spoiler, okay? What we're also going to have to do is cut this vinyl so that it's not too small, right? So, cause we're gonna stretch this. So if we stretch it and then we end up stretching it too far past, okay, well, this is the problem, right? So we stretch it too far past and then we end up missing this area here, that's not good. So we have to make sure that we're not stretching it too much, but enough to be able to have the film curl around this area here. This is the hard part. Since this panel curls all the way around like this and then also curls down and in, makes it extremely difficult to wrap in one piece, especially with the size of piece that we're going to be using today. This is a 60 by 60 inch piece, roughly, it's cut at about 62 by 60. Um, so it's quite large. Obviously we're gonna trim out a lot of this area here. We're not gonna have so much. And I'm gonna try and stretch it so that the vinyl goes down and kind of around and in, and then I'll work it up this way and I'll work it up that way. So what I'm gonna do right now is go grab the piece. I've prepped the surface already with isopropyl alcohol and uh, I've blown away all the contaminants, I, especially into the recesses where the window is and stuff like that. I wanna make sure all the gaps didn't have any like floating debris around in there and stuff like that. Uh, this car is a brand new car, it's probably not too dirty, but again, you never know. So I always double check. Uh, I've laid knifeless tape here so I can avoid cutting on this piece right here. We're gonna draw the, the film off right at this point. We don't need to wrap all the way down to the bottom here, it's pointless. Uh, you can if you really want to. Again, then you'd kind of just lay your knifeless tape all the way through there, but really pointless. The chrome trim that goes back on here will cover that area where the knifeless tape is. Let's go grab the piece and get set up here. I have my... and let's lift it up to the body line again right here. Smooth that out. Now what I wanna do is I wanna heat and shrink it into this area. So let's lift it off of here. This is my anchor point. Let's lift that off of there. Let's lift all this off here. There we go. And it should, it should basically roll into this area when I add a little heat. So I'm just gonna keep a little tension on it. And it's, I can feel the film pulling my hands in. That's, that's, that's a good thing. I'm just looking for my green squeegee. I don't have it, so we're gonna use the gold one right now. I'm not sure what I did with it. So again, we're laying in really nicely. Very easy. Nice and consistent. We're not pulling down. We're not gonna have any wrinkles running across the bottom edge here. You're gonna see no wrinkles, right? Let's keep going. So again, the, the film just wants to pull itself in. That's perfect. Turn the heat gun off. Then we have wrinkles running this way. It means we pull down. These are fun trunks to wrap. There's only one trunk I've ever seen that looks more challenging than this one, and that's on Sean's car. The Infinity, what is it, FX30 or something? Uh, FX63. FX63, huh? I think it's an FX. One of those SUV type things. All right. All right, so again, film's falling in. I'm gonna heat it. We're gonna make sure it's shrinking in really nicely. See it tighten up, that's perfect. We want those kinds of wrinkles. I need my green squeegee, that's okay. It, it just conforms better, that's why. Um, simply because you want something that curls into this area. Obviously it's not perfectly flat, right? So it's okay, we'll make this happen. 
Okay, it's lifting off. Always relieving tension from the edge. I'm not, you know, trying to add more tension to the edge, so I always lift up from the edge and then push the film down. This makes it so I'm not adding more tension to these areas. Cool. The rest is a mess now, so let's fix all that up. Heat it, see what happens. Just flatten it out. Should be able to squeeze you over that. We'll see. Let's use my finger. That was pretty high profile. I, I, luckily, I just got it. Let's go right through. We're good. We're smooth all the rest of the way. Let's finish this one off. And we're around this side. Good times. Let's see the other side. Want to alleviate all that tension on the edge. Don't want to let it sit there for a very long time. We we'll get a glue line. Cool. We're all the way to the edges everywhere. Let's move to the other side. Uh, do not wanna, oops, I do not want to cut deep here, because there is paint there, right? Take your time, I'm gonna bring this up. There's a little rubber seal up here, so I'm gonna stop, and I'm just gonna trim this out right here. Leave it like that. Right here, I'm just going to come across the top. I'm going to come around this corner, so I'm going to come a little bit in here right now. Make sure I'm not stuck to the glass again. Always making sure I'm not stuck to the glass before I do that. I'm not trying to add any more tension. There will always, there will already be enough tension as it is. And I'm always making this, the, sure the film shrinks before I do anything like that. I don't want to keep stretching and heating and stretching and heating. I let it shrink back, then I push again. Cool, so I have to cut that out, but I'm gonna finish up this side over here to be exactly the same. There's no tension here. Take my blade. I'm gonna start at the corner and watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna come and stay really close to the corner. This is how you make nice corners, okay? Stay really close to the corner and you trim off all that excess film. Cool, that's gonna tuck in underneath there. So let's start this cut coming across right here. Okay, back of the blade. Let's look. Very close. Cool. 
close to the corner. Very sharp blades help with this kind of stuff, just so you know. Good. Excellent, awesome. This is finito. Actually, let's push the button. And that's a Tesla Model X rear trunk wrap with the spoiler on. If you can remove it, it'd be tremendously easier. Uh, this is the really hard part working around this. It's unfortunately, when you work around an object, the finish doesn't usually come out quite as nice. Uh, you do do your best to make it come out nice. But again, when you have to work around stuff, it doesn't always work out that way. Uh, I just have that one little corner on that side to trim off the excess. This is actually finished this part. Uh, we're gonna do the bumper and I'm gonna show the A-pillar corners there also. Guys, I hope the video was informative and helpful. I'm looking forward to doing some more videos for you. Again, thank you for watching very much. I appreciate it. Take care.